entertainment, exercising, extracurricular activities, hobbies, TV, binging, you know, it's, it's up to you on what you do and how you do it with that time. But I want to talk about us being productive with our 168 hours a week, because once you use that time, you don't get it back. It's no refunds. It's no, let me take it back and let me get a refund on that time. Once that time is spent or that time is invested, I would like to say more so, then that's it. But what you invest in, you can receive returns on. If you invested in nothing, then you'll receive nothing back. If you invested in productivity, if you invested in your goals, if you invested in things that's going to give you a positive return, then that's a wise investment. And that's an investment that will keep on giving and keep on returning. So when you are throughout your day or throughout the week, I want you to ask yourself some questions. Ask yourself, is what I'm doing right now with time, is this the best possible use of my time? So ask yourself that as you move out through your day. Is what I'm doing now the best use of my time at this moment? Two, ask yourself, is what I'm doing with my time, is it going to return to me productivity? Is it going to return to me increasing um, greatness? Is it going to return to me an increase in the quality of my life? Or is it just like eating um, food that has low nutritional value, but it may be tasty? So you have a choice on whether you're going to eat, whether, excuse me, whether you're going to invest and use that time for productive, great means, or if you're going to invest it in empty calories, junk food type activities, which may taste good, but is not ultimately good. So it's up to you on how you use your time. The Quran says, by the time, man is surely at loss. So if we don't use our time wisely, then we will lose. We will be at loss. But if we use our time productively and use it creatively and use it in the way of producing great things for ourselves, then we will reap great returns. So 